Exclamation, everybody, and welcome uh, to Raiders Forsaken Earth. It is by Creative Storm Entertainment and published by Creative Forge Games. It is currently 20 bucks US out on Steam and uh, fully released at that. It was uh, released actually a while ago, back in uh, 2020. I'm just getting through, getting, getting around to uh, many things that have been on my list. And, um... It looks like it's going to be some sort of uh, Fallout-inspired uh, RPG, um, but I haven't played any of it yet, so I'm going in completely blind here, and uh, we'll see what uh, what's up with it. Let's go new game, and uh, <clears throat> let's see, we've got... Wow, that's a terrific totem. Okay. Um, <laughs> can I... Is there, can we not, uh, fear a chance for all owned raiders, for all owned, there you go, 100% XP for all owned units, okay, a totem, so our character, all these guys look very, very lovely, um, I guess we'll do that, let's just, do a random name, um, Scavenger, Harold, uh, Sneak Thief, Rotter Tribal Merchant, um, I guess Scavenger will go with, I'm not quite sure. <clears throat> Brute Force solves all, Precision wins, can't hurt Iron Skin. Uh, okay. Um, precision wins. Uh, yeah, I feel like that's probably okay. Manage leveling. Let the gods decide. I think I'll manage leveling myself. All right, so we got 10 points. We got critical damage and critical chance. It's how likely an attacker will quickly hit an opponent, right? Hit damage. <clears throat> the amount of damage inflicted on a unit minus armor mitigation. Hit chance. Damage armor. Hit points. Initiative. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm guessing the higher the initiative, the sooner in battle will fight. Um, I'm guessing so. We got 10 points. <sighs> Freaking phone. Um, so that's two, it's gonna cost two, it's gonna cost two, um, it's gonna cost ten for one point of armor. Wow. Um, five. All right, so let's do critical chance. Hit chance. I want to make sure I hit what we're looking at and critical damage. Actually, you know what? Uh, let's get the regular hit damage up. That seems like a good idea. Um. Okay. So we got about like a 64% chance to hit what we're looking at. We got here negotiation. Born with a silver tongue. Lowers the bribe amount required to break contact from any parties. Aggression. Tells your exports. Re Exploits resound throughout the wasteland. Increases fear gain from wasteland attacks per point spent. There's a lot of stuff here. Motivation. Uh, plus five experience gain or raiders per point spent. We'll do that. <clears throat> Minus two hour build time of hideout structures. Increases raider slots of plus one per party point spent. All right, let's do that. And... I'm guessing some, maybe a little bit, uh, well, it's shrewdness. Artillery and trap damage per point spent. Okay, that's not really, I don't, not much of a trap person, like using traps and stuff. Um, aggression. Let me try a point in that, <clears throat> I think. And there's our map seed. We get a random seed there. 
We're gonna do normal. Um, a thousand chips, scavenging abundant, build speed normal, vigilance easy going, fearful. Your rival. How many days do you have before the new governmental authority deploys their forces to waste so they stop you? Collecting never will, di will disable this event for your playthrough. Excuse me. Th this is just an event that you can keep playing the game after if you survive. Oh, I see. Uh, consumables, disciplines, already equipped, secession. Your character dies without succession on the game is over. Oh, I see. Experience gain, quick learners. All right. Well, let's see what this what this is all about then. All right. So we'll pop into the game here, and we'll give it uh, a half an hour and see see what it's like, my friends. A new leader. As the previous generalissimo of your organization expires bloodily in the sand, you turn and face the others. Cowed with fear and grief, they all stare back at you, understanding that the mantle of command has rightfully been claimed by you. What you inherit is a raider organization as in shambles. Your base of operations can barely be called such, having no buildings or fortifications to speak of, and your raiders are so poorly equipped that they pose a threat only to the weakest caravans in the region. Your food and water is dwindling fast, and your other supplies like ammunition, building material, and beer, the most important of the bunch, are also depleted. If you are to survive, you must rebuild your organization to its former glory. You have your work cut out for you. You should first inspect your hideout. It will be done. Um. <clears throat> Alright, Sunhorn Retreat. Your hideout is your main base of operations. From here, you'll build and prepare your organization to dominate the wasteland. But each time you visit your hideout with your party, uh, this increases the chance of discovery. If your hideout is discovered and the wasteland vigilance is high enough, regulators will eventually raid and, if successful in combat, destroy your hideout, leaving you with no home. If your party is not in your hideout, you can still right-click to open it without the chance of discovery increasing. Oh, okay. Chance of hideout discovery, 1%. Um, decreases by 5% each day. Okay, I see. I, or I can leak the location of my hideout. Wow, that's a j uh Hina ammunition stores adequate forty, room and garrison for more raiders ten. Okay. Fortifications. If you build your fort you build your fortifications here, fortifications make it harder for enemies to attack your hideout. Each fortification damages a select number of units for a set amount of hit points. The more fortifications built, the more attacking units will be damaged before entering combat. If you have enough saltpeter, you can also build explosive traps, claymore mines. They can be detonated by any one of your units during combat, severely hurting the opposition. These traps only need to be built once and are reusable. Uh, okay. Building damage, claymore mines. Does it tell us how much we have? We have 4,000 chips. Currency? Okay. Um, build. Build structures here. Each structure requires resource resources to construct, and some also require specialists to unlock them. Uh, specialists can be captured by successfully attacking caravans in certain locations in the wasteland. Okay. Holding pens, stable, stable hand required. Weapon smith required for blacksmith. Watering hole. Um, it's a hundred wood. Our um, little resources at. That's water, meat, beer, and ammo. Oh, here it is. Wood. We have two hundred wood. Oh, it says it in parentheses too. Okay. Um. Surgeon required for that holding pen. Uh, increases captive capacity of hideout in previous and prevents escape. Okay. Resources. You're able to manage your resources here. Use the craft equipment as well as construct buildings and fortifications. Your hideout has a storage capacity for each resource. However, this can be expanded by building a warehouse. Resources can be transferred between your party and your hideout and must be stored in your hideout in order to be used in construction and crafting. Okay. I see. 
We have 40 ammo. I'm thinking we're probably going to need more ammo. Let's just take all the ammo out that we've got. Oh, wait, that's to the hideout. Whoops, wait a minute. 70. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Party's on the left, hideout's on the right. Okay. <clears throat> Scrap. Water. Okay. Garrison. Beethoven. Ooh. 5 of 15. This is your hideout garrison. You can transfer units from your party to this location and vice versa. Garrisons are required to defend for locations from attackers from here. You can build a watering hole. If you build a watering hole, you can also recruit additional raiders. Okay. And there's an arena too, apparently. Labor. This is where you manage your labor. Once you construct a building, workers must be assigned to it in order for that building to generate resources or bonuses. If you capture workers in the wasteland, you must bring them back and transfer them to your labor pool. Workers in your labor, labor pool can be assigned to buildings of your choice after they are constructed. Okay, so I can't really construct anything until I have laborers, right? I'm guessing. Wow, there's a lot of stuff to be constructed, too. Uh, Alright, so... Harrison. Fighting pit's not built. Watering hole's not built. Okay. There and there. Alright. Um, fine. Everything's fine there. Rock throwers. Some of your raiders sit around, commiserating while looking at their rifle. One of them looks over. Hey boss, we're almost out of ammo here. We could throw rocks, but I doubt they'll do much. Consider having the individual killed or at least horse whipped for talking to you in such a tone. It does raise a valet. Uh, without ammo for your projectile weapons... You will indeed be forced to throw rocks at your enemy. Move out. Okay. Scavenge. The ancients may have destroyed the planet through war and gluttony, but they also left the bounty of metals, rubber, and plastic to scavenge and repurpose. When scavenging a tile, you clear it out of debris, transferring it to your party. Note that all resources will need to be transferred from your party to your hideout in order to be used for crafting and construction. Okay. Um, we need garbage for anything? Oh, valuable plastics. Okay. Morale is... Would rather steal than scavenge. Okay. Scavenging blues. Sweating under the sun while loading up the scavenge material, your raiders look extremely unhappy as they do so. Several cursing under their breath. I suppose it does make sense. They became violent raiders because they're looking for an easy life, not to become a bunch of broken-backed scavengers. You'll have to monitor their, their morale and make sure you aren't ordering them to scavenge too much. At least not without balancing the shit work with some sizable paydays. Even the most disciplined raiders can be relied on to piss and moan. Nothing turns one around faster than gaining a few new chips to rub together. Note it. Next steps. Spotting a random toilet in a desert, you decide to make use of it. Why not? Enjoying a moment on your own, it gives you time to think. Your raiders depend on you. If you don't keep them happy while also improving your organization, you won't last long in the harsh wasteland. Being under-equipped and having a hideout that's barely functional, your next steps would perhaps be to start small by attacking some of the local caravans. They carry chips, which will keep your raiders content, as well as trade goods, which you can either sell to or use to build up your corporation. Although they carry beer, water, and food, all things your party will require while traveling. Your next steps will determine the future of your rule and of your organization. Move out. Okay. <laughs> They're running away. Raiders on the horizon, they can see us. <laughs> they just keep running away. We've chased them away. Uh, message to raiders everywhere. A trembling courier approaches your party with a message. Taking it from him, you open and read it. From General Maximilian Montgomery, acting on military jurisdiction granted by a new governmental authority, we have deemed your sector of wasteland next for annexation. In 240 days, we will shall bring civilization to your to you scavages. Savages. End of messages. Uh, you hold the paper tightly while turning and glaring at the messenger. Kill him. You grab the courier and toss him roughly to the sand, firing several shots into him before he, he can land. Turning, you face your raiders, who stare back with fearful eyes. You hold the message up for all to see before finally crumbling it and tossing it beside the body. 
The so-called new governmental authority will be coming in 240 days. You will need that time to begin preparing. Plus 100 for your gain. Very well. Your journal has been added. You can now track your expeditionary forces in game event here. Okay. Roster is where you manage your raiders. You can promote a raider to a higher rank, giving them a bonus in combat, but also increasing the potential for them to rebel if morale gets too low. Level them up or equip them. You can also exile raiders or eat them if you're out of food and your other raiders are grumbling. Finally, if you have camels, you can assign them to each of your raiders. If each raider in your party has a mount, the entire party will be considered mounted and will move much faster. I see. Okay. Uh, treasure, saving game, religion, locations, news. Get the roads here, we can move a little bit faster, but... Where's it saying my morale at? Fear. Each hostile I should take in my rare party awards you with a variable amount of fear. Fear is used to extort wastelanders. Oh, crap. Damn it. Come on. Um, fear is used to create new laws or avoid battles when outnumbered. Okay. Moose Hauler, six kilometers west. Animal Skinners. Welcome, we run a harmless and peaceful operation here. Please don't hurt us. Hmm. Locations generate taxes and provide habitats for people. While industri industries provide the raw resources which denizens can live on, you can interact peacefully with locations or you can attack them. If you're successfully attacking a location, you can either leave it as is, after looting it, of course, raise it, uh, or capture it. Capturing a location makes it your own, where you can manage tax rates, worker assignment, collect all the yields in the process. Um, does it tell me... How many people I'd be up against? Like if I attack it? Hmm. Demand? You can extort, chi extort chips, uh, workers, or resources from a location you have enough fear build up to do so. Uh, okay. I don't have enough fear to make a demand. Okay. Um. Let's get to um, four workers. I just get one worker out of that. Took a hundred fear to do that. And there we go. You watch as the workers you have acquired are loaded up and prepared for transport. Your raiders imploring them with the old kick to move faster. It will slow your party down considerably, but you're certain that once you unload them at your hideout, you'll find use for them at, in your buildings. If not, they might come in handy if you run out of food and find your stomach rumbling. Load them up. There we go. Rotus hauler. Um... How can we help you? Attack. Now you're talking, let's waste these bastards. Proceed with the fight? Yes. We can auto resolve. Alright, we got some war pigs. Wait, which one is me? This must be my team, because they all have names. Clanton war pig, Clanton BD horse. Lincoln, 
Apple seed. Um, I guess this is good enough. Let's start combat. Aim of attack. Heart shot. 48%. Wreck armor. I don't think any of them have armor, do they? I mean, they have, like, shields, but I don't think that counts. The War Pig does, what, 23 damage? These guys do 19, he does 21, he does 23. So, the War Pig and that dude are going to be the most dangerous ones. Six percent Oh, both of the... Standard attack, human. It's him. Um, right, Isaiah. Yeah, okay. Hard to track what's going on. The animations go by really fast. Oh, come on. How does everything miss? Uh, suddenly, suddenly we're missing all the time? We hit all those other times? Not reach. Okay. What are we doing here now? Ventilate, apply bleeding. And what does that do? There you go. So he's bleeding. I pass back roll. Alright, I got them all bleeding. Patch himself up. A heavy swipe. Use 35% now. 45. What's your smile? Uh, okay. Already has, already has a bleeding. Okay, so I can't, it doesn't stack. Got it. Um, three guys. No, oh, he can't do that. Uh, oh, he's got. He have does he have to reload? Where's his gun at? Wait, what? How do I know how many bullets he had? It seems like I, I have to reload here. How would I know ahead of time how many... Oh, zero of three. There it is. Okay. You reload. Uh, you reload. Well... Heavy uh, dash. All right. Yeah, I figured that would miss. I figured that would miss. Guys, exhausted. What is this? Block chance. Yeah, how do I know what they're stabbing at? Okay, stamina is up top. Three of three. Alright, got it. Yeah. 
Ooh, we got a crit on him. Yeah, okay, so his stamina is one. Um. There's only one stamina point in an attack. I guess his standard attack doesn't take stamina. Maybe. Not sure. <clears throat> you kept this guy. There we go. Okay. Heavy swipe. Yes. Our percentages are not great. It's not great. It has a bleeding wound. It doesn't say that he has a bleeding wound now. Um. You are standing back. He's blocked. He's blocking. No, uh, I'm probably too far out of reach. Yeah. Numbers hit buff. One percent times number of surviving friendlies. One use. Uh, hmm. Okay. Down. Little rocks. Fifty-eight percent for ten damage. Sure. <laughs> I thought I, I thought I would try. Thought I would try. Damn it. Um. Go. Him down. This guy, though, is a pain in the neck with his blocking. Um. A shield bash on him. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Go for the eyes. There we go. Uh, you reload. Get your armor, please. I guess that already happened. Good. Uh, it's on cooldown. Uh, through the seams. Throw some rocks. I mean, why not save some ammo? Uh, and I actually have a better percentage of throwing rocks than shooting them. <laughs> Which is pretty hilarious. Uh, right. air attack. Almost did. He blocked it. Uh, harsh language. And reload. Load. Go. Finally. Jeez, Lee's. <laughs> that took a bit.
defeated them. Your orders. Uh, lots. Ooh, we got some leveled up guys. Three of them leveled up. Very good. Very, very good. Plus 133 vigilance. Each hostile action taken by raiders against civilized targets increases the vigilance of the wasteland. With each new vigilance level, locations will build fortifications, increase garrisons, and hire regulars to hunt you. Ooh. Okay. There's so many chips. Water ammo. Chain rep. I'm a reduction from Bang Bangkok? Attach mod to appropriate item from crafting screen. Oh, okay. I guess that's a particular gun that we have. <clears throat> Vectors. Force. I don't know. Prisoner? Did I take him prisoner? Or is he part of my... Uh, I guess he defected to my... To my side? Destroyed caravan. The battle's over and the caravan lies destroyed in the sand. Your raiders load up the supplies and for forage the saddles for chips. Look over at the pile of corpses, tossed haphazardly aside. Kneeling down beside them, you recognize an opportunity to let the wayside know exactly who did this. You mark the bodies with a crude and bloody approximation of your totem. It would certainly put a bit of fear in the hearts of those that discover the caravan wreckage. <laughs> Hello, fellow travelers. Achievement unlocked. Uh, yep, mark them. Grab a knife from one of the stiff hands and start carving your totem into corpses. Announcing your presence, anyone who stumbles across the wrecked caravan. Several of your raiders come over and watch for with amused grins as you finish marking up the last corpse. Alert gear gained. Fitting in. Scumbag piece of shit. One of your longer tenured raiders mumbles while staring down the defector. The sentiment is understandable. You do not expect your raiders to quickly trust the newly added people in your organization. You'll need every warm body you can find for the conquest ahead. In the meantime, both your raiders and any defectors you acquire must find a way to work together. Perhaps after a few battles, they may even share a beer together. Very well. Okay. Uh, so that's a th thing. Where's my, um... Religion? Wasteland religion. Blood sacrifices can rile your superstitious raiders into a violent blood frenzy, depending on the sacrifice you're willing to make. Food and beer will get them a little worked up, sacrificing a wasteland captive perhaps a bit more. Sacrificing one of their own will get them really excited. Sacrifices will increase the combat stats of your raiders for a duration of time, while uh, recovered relics will apply permanent modifiers to certain stats, such as movement, scavenging, or Egypt. No. I see. Apple seed is our high priest. Okay. Wow, there's a lot going on here. And they really just throw you in the deep end, don't they? News. Journal. News. Orbis Holler was destroyed by raiders. Okay. What do we got here? One or more raiders has unspent arc or stat points. Uh oh. Taking a moment away from the others, you make your way across a vast dune and decide to sit for a moment. Staring out at the oceans of sand beyond, you recall the legend of you heard of another type of ocean that once covered these lands. Water as far as the eye can see. It would be impossible to believe were it not for the ancient debris scattered in every direction, having sunk beneath the waves long ago. What caused the oceans to recede and the desert to take its place? What curse did the ancients place upon this world? You are tempted to contemplate this a bit further before rem remembering that your supplies are finite. You must keep moving. Damn it. Can't move very fast. <laughs> we can't move very fast. But if I just stay on the path here, things just show up. Oh, oh they're inching back. Nope. Oh. Give time. Um... Black market available. Where's us perks here? Uh, let's see. You have five stats I can give you. What is your 
Which I'm not sure what to even give him. Got a war club, patch armor, cowboy hat. A stop sign for a shield, okay. Alright. Drunk and satisfied. This raider one of your spouses, okay. Mount. Remote exile. Butcher perks. Select your raider's class. Each raider has a combat class that can be chosen. Once a class is chosen, you can assign perks for class bonuses each time you level up. Available classes are Hellion, focusing on damage, Masochist, focusing on durability, and brut Brutali Bruticians? Bruticians, I guess? Focusing on group buffs and bonus. Okay. Um... Hi, Hellion. Uh, whenever your rare obtains a new level, a perk point becomes available. Selecting a class perk provides an extra ability or combat bonus. Each tier of perks requires more points to spend, as well as a number of previously spent points to unlock. Okay. Risky business. What does that do? Okay, risky business. Uh, plus 10% critical percentage, minus 2 armor for duration of combat, points required to activate during combat, digging death, no regard for human life, plus 5 damage, uh, 2 points required, a passive ability, okay. Plus 5 critical damage for every dead team member, passive ability, um, plus 2 hit percentage for each opponent with over 80 hit points. Okay. Plus 10% critical percentage, minus 2 armor, activated during combat, I see. Um, let's try opposites direct. Okay. And uh, we got 5 stats here. I can auto level if I want to. I think the more important thing here is we start getting our hit chances up because we're missing far too much in my opinion. So let's get our crits up and that up and initiative as well. And everybody should have high initiative, I feel like. All right. Now you. Um... <laughs> the ranks and stuff. Okay, um, you have a, you are a pistol toting person, is there any armor, we picked up something, right? Anything lantern, Put the radar, compass, wood saw, okay. Well, let's see, uh, you have... Yes, um... I guess a masochist. Idiot's bellow. Plus 20 hit points. Uh, leather skin. Plus 15 hit points. Shield master. Plus 15 hit points with shield. I guess I could have... I should have given that to the other guy who was in the front of the line. Okay. Um... Passive ability. Plus 5 hit points for each opponent with over 40 hit damage. Oh. Do leather skin on him. And, uh... I guess, uh... Give him a compass. So we can see what we're doing a little bit better. Alright. Isaiah. You're also... Okay, you're in the front line. So we're going to give you Masochist. And we're going to give you um, Shield. Well, I would give him Shield Master if he had a shield, but uh, let's do uh, up tracks for you. Um, give you I 
toothbrush. Um, this give you a lantern. Crap per day. Okay. Uh, and then who else? Oh yeah, we gotta give you um, points up here. Uh, again, we'll get your critical chance up a little bit. I think. And your hit points as well. Oh, I should, really should do initiative, but whatever. Whatever. Um... So he's Generalissimo. Okay, that's why he's also the virtual leader then. Alright, I got it. I got it. <laughs> I understand now. Um, sort of. There's a lot to this. I can see there's a, a heck of a lot to this game. Uh, let's do metal detector for you. Let's give you the water purifier. Um... Wood saw and you got that. All right, that's fine. That is fine now. You got that going for us. Maybe we can move a little bit faster. Damn it. Can't can't get to them fast enough. What's our our ammo and our order and food is okay so far. Oh, it's for a save, okay. Flavor. Yeah, we're slavers. Do you wish to purchase some workers or what? Hmm. Population 40. Uh, trade resources. Yeah, we'll grab a couple workers. The gamesters of the wasteland. Your raiders are starting to get pissed off. For whatever reason, be it low food or water, too much scavenging or not enough pay. You're hearing grumbling among the ranks. Glancing over at the exhaustive captives tied up and following your party, you suddenly have an idea how you could placate your raiders for the time being. A fight to the death. Two captives forced into taking up arms against one another, providing cheap and fun entertainment for all. Of course, that would mean one of them dying, but it would be a small price to pay in order to make your people happy. Um, sure. Make them fight. Take two random captives and toss of weapons. Trembling and wide-eyed, these simple wastelanders are not accustomed to combat. Under a threat of death, they comply. Within seconds, one of them is dying on the ground, the last bit of life bleeding away. The victor is ordered to finish off the vanquished before being tied up once more and kicked into the corner. The trick that will only work once, as your raiders are a fickle bunch. But at least they are contented for a while. Morale gains. The engines of the wasteland. Concluding your visit with slavers, you decide that they will indeed serve your purpose in supplying potential manpower to fill the labor requirements of your operation. If you wage war against the denizens of the wasteland, there will be a, there will come a time when they all close their gates to you, making it impossible to deal in more civilized commerce. But these slavers, as long as you're fair in your dealings, will always leave the front door open for you. Okay. Raider activity in the region. While setting up your campsite, several raiders turn to the north, listening as a distant series of gunshots ring out before subsiding shortly after. No doubt another firefight, one of many you've been hearing the last few days. You suspect there's another raider party in the region attacking local caravans, which by right belong to you. Given turns, those raiders, they may not be hurting us now, but they'll bring heat on us. They wake the wasteland to our threats more with each attack. You nod and look away. They're likely far stronger and better equipped than your own organization, but you'll probably have to attack them eventually. Indeed.
Uh, produce hauler. With us. I wish they would tell me how many are in the are in the group. Like it says, scout here. What's your scout? Uh, let's attack. Yeah, it doesn't really doesn't really tell you much. But I do like they have almost no. They're all level one. They have almost no hit points, so good for us. Damn. That hurt a lot. Killed, killed the guy that I just picked up. Great. Damn it. Stop missing. 54%. There you go. Um... Yikes. Uh, did you actually successfully kneecap me? I think you did. Hit something. Damn you and all you're missing. Tell me my ammo available up there, okay. Oof. Done and done. Combat ended. Alright. So got all of them. Got spiked guard, which is another mod. Stuff, vigilance, uh Captured a butcher. We got some treasure. Treasure looted and shipped back to your treasure room. Awesome. Celebrating death. You notice several of your raiders holding their weapons up around the fire, showing off a series of carved notches on the surfaces. You're quick to surmise that these are kills they have managed to accomplish in past battles. An interesting idea. You look down at your own weapon with temptation to do the same, understanding that remembering your own kills would foster a bond with your weapon and even perhaps increase its efficiency in battle. You decide to make it so, and also to decree that all other raiders in your band do the same, henceforward. 
Kills, both honorable and dishonorable, will be etched into the weapon responsible for all the sea. <coughs> Excuse me. Man. Treasure. Look through the bodies, one of your raiders boots, pulling up a wrapped object, making your way over and snatching the object away. You unwrap it and toss the cloth away. Staring at all in an artifact from a world far more ancient than the last one before the cataclysm. Staring at your raiders, they all bow away. Knowing that the artifact belongs to you, wrapping it back up again, you place it in your backpack, knowing that it will be featured in your own personal treasure room. Okay. I guess we'll get back to base here. Oh, there is another raiding party right behind us. Uh, the man. Let's demand, um, we have, we have some water, uh, all their water, all their beer, well, most of their beer, anyway. And we'll let them go on their way. Okay, um, what's, uh, uh, let's see, fortify, uh, no, I think it's, I think we want to build probably a watering hole for hours there. With that, okay, labor. There we go. Three out of that. I think that's doing that, right? So did that clean up the building or something? I'm not even sure. I assume this is just the ones that we collected. I think there were three. Yeah, here's the guys in my party. Right. Okay. Interesting. And I guess how many generate a new party of your current one is destroyed? Oh, I see. I see. The so five of eight. So we can have up to eight in a party. Alright. Well, my friends. As more raiders go by. Um, oh, there's raiders to the east. So we see all kinds of parties going on there uh, and stuff. But uh, yeah, oh, this is interesting. This is a this is a really interesting uh, interesting game here. Menu. So it's got kind of a it's got a bit of a like a, a mountain blade aspect to it, and I guess maybe it's closer to. Uh, I'd say maybe closer to Battle Brothers. It, it feels a lot like Battle Brothers uh, in the way it deals with stuff, except, you know, you are the bad guy. And you do lots of bad... You know, you, you have to do... basically be a... an SOB <laughs> of the Wasteland. Be the Wasteland's biggest SOB. Um, and I kind of like it. I like how, I like how they're... how it's operating. It's... It does feel like it's got quite the uh, um, learning curve to it, but I feel like I'm sort of ca sort of able to wrap my brain around a lot of it. So, awesome stuff, awesome stuff, my friends. This has been Raiders Forsaken Earth. It is by Creative Storm Entertainment and published by Creative Forge Games. It is fully released out on Steam currently, twenty bucks US. As always. I will leave links down in the description so you can do your own uh, due diligence. Thanks so much for watching, everybody, and I will see you next time.